Files with Laura Kirtley and meteorologist Ron Rhodes. This is Local 7 Lifestyles. Well, welcome back. We are joined this morning by Carla Boyles. She is the owner of Imagine Hair Design in Newburgh. Today, she's showing us how to use items from your garden to improve your beauty routine. And thanks so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. I love this idea because so many people are obviously have gardens, have a lot of this stuff maybe hanging around, and a lot of people looking for a more natural approach to yes. beauty. Do you get that sense? Yes. And, yes. and trying to use things that you have, maybe more organic. And you're going to kind of just show us some of the things you brought along and maybe some ways to use them. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> so we're going to start with tomatoes. Uh, most of us have tomatoes in our garden. Uh -huh. And um, if in the summertime, um, some blondes tend to get that green tint in their hair. And chlorine. From the chlorine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the acidity in the tomatoes will actually help bring the pH of your hair back to normal, which will help get rid of that green cast. Wild. So like you crush it up? What do you do? You crush it up. You could put it in a food processor and put it on, on your hair as a mask wow. and um, it'll help get that green out. Yeah. Okay. And next to it's chamomile? We do have chamomile. Mm -hmm. Chamomile right here. And um, chamomile, you, you can use actually the rosemary and chamomile in the same way. Uh, steep for about 15 minutes, hot okay. water, um, and it, it brings... Um, Oh, the oils out of the actual flower and leaves, ah. and you can put it on a ri as a rinse on your hair after your shower, and the chamomile will actually bring out the highlights. Yes, natural the highlights. Mm -hmm. And the rosemary is actually going to add shine and um, somewhat combat dandruff if that's a problem. Wild. Okay, so that's rosemary, chamomile. Mm -hmm. um, pumpkin, I know pumpkin is like the most versatile, it seems like, uh, the most versatile vegetable. Yes, pumpkin is full of enzymes and, and um, alpha hydroxy acids, antioxidants. It's great for exfoliating, smoothing, brightening the skin. And the seeds we have right here, oh, yeah. um, you can use those. Those can be crushed up and used as a mask to help regulate oil for oily skin types. You know, it's wild because you see a lot of products in stores now that sort of incorporate these, some of these. Absolutely. Um, but they're very expensive. <laughs> so you're saying you could kind of do it on your own. Like, could you make a mask with the two of these? Sure, or absolutely. Yeah, you, well, you could do them together, um, or you could do them as two separate. Um, the pumpkin itself might be good for a more mature skin type. Um, mm -hmm. The smoothing, the brightening, the, you know, fine lines and that, that sort of thing. But the seeds might be good for someone who has more oily or acne prone skin. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in cucumber, now this is like a tried and true. Yes, they absolutely. They use it spas, you know. Yes. So they use it for years. You can um, blend the cucumber up and, and use it as a pulp, as a mask. Like just put it on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's going to tighten. It's going to reduce puffiness. It's going to reduce redness. Um, but in the old tried and true uh, cucumbers uh -huh. uh, on the eyes can reduce puffiness on the eyes and dark circles as okay. well. Okay. Uh, carrots. Carrots are just chock full of beta carotene, vitamin A, which are great for the skin. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> very rich in antioxidants, slows the aging process, contributes to um, skin renewal. I like it. Boosts moisture and if someone does tend to have acneic skin, mm -hmm. it can actually help heal the acne. Like, again, put it in a food processor? Mm -hmm. or? Absolutely. Very cool. Use that as a mask. I love it. And there, there is a product out there that uses carrots. I think there's, it's a commercial product that uses that. Okay, up next, thyme here. We have thyme. Thyme is also great for acne. Um, it, it can be crushed up or used in a food processor. Um, with thyme, you, you can use a little bit of an oil, like even an olive oil from your kitchen okay. to mix with the thyme. Use as a mask. Um, it's, it's great to help heal acne. It also is great for mature skin as well because it tightens. It tightens the skin. Interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have a few more we got to get to quickly. Uh, roses, I've heard of this as a toner before. Rose toner. water. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? an astringent. It's very mild, so it's great for sensitive skin types. Mm. Um, also great for a aging or maturing skin as well. Yeah. Boost moisture levels. Okay, um, and aloe, of course, we all know of this when it comes to if you get a sunburn or something. Yes, that's a great go-to for a sunburn. You actually just break open Ooh, yeah. the stem and you see the gel in there. I'll and that towards that camera. Let's see. 
So you would just use that? Okay, because mm -hmm. people have aloe plants at home. Yes, right? you can use that for sunburn, as you said. You can use it for scrapes, rashes, uh, bug bites, huh. that sort of thing. Wild. Mm -hmm. Okay, honey. Honey is one of my favorites. Love to use a honey mask. It's, it's great for toning and tightening the skin, boost moisture levels. Um, honey is actually a natural preservative, so it'll never go bad. You can keep it forever. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we have three more to get you here. Lavender. It smells good. It does. It <laughs> smells amazing. It's very calming. Lavender is a great um, herb to have around the house. It's calming. It's soothing. Uh, it has anti-inflammatory and antiseptic properties. And it's also great to soothe a, a fussy baby. That, oh, what do you do with it? That and just having that, um, the scent, so the essential nice. oil. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, two more. These are two that I, I have definitely heard of. Oatmeal. Yes. Because I have sensitive skin. I, I, think, I see a lot of products with oatmeal in it. Yes, oatmeal's great. Maybe not something you're going to have in your garden, but most of us have it in our house. Right. Um, it can be used for also for burns, um, bug bites. Um, it, uh, like you can, it can be put in the bath if, if mm -hmm. a child has chicken pox or uh, eczema or something like that. It's great for that. Okay, and then finally, coconut oil. And this is one that I've used um, on my hands and, like you were saying, rough spots. But you got to use it with care, right? You do. You have to be careful with coconut oil. Everybody's jumping on that bandwagon. Yeah. Um, but it's not great for every skin type. It is. Uh, it can be pore clogging and it can build up on your hair. So you, you want to use it in places like your hands, elbows, knees, um, heels, maybe okay. areas that are going to be a little more dry and a little more uh, the, the skin a little thicker. That's really good advice because I remember doing an interview on this show with a celebrity and she said, oh yes, I wash my face with coconut oil. And I remember thinking, man, my face would break out yes. if that happened. So you gotta be careful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, this is so great. We're going to put all this on our website. If you are interested in learning more, you can contact Carla at Imagine Hair Design in Newburgh. Yes. And uh, we'll put all this information on our website so you can try these all at home. Thank you for, for coming on. This was fun. Thank you so much for having me. All right, we're back 